What is up everyone, East Coast Fix back again with another video, and today I'm going to show you the top 10 Marvel Legends uh, comic figures that are in my top 10 figures of this year, 2018. So I'm going to go in backwards from 10 to 1. So number 10 is Spider-Ham, a figure that I've been wanting for a while actually, before the Spider-Verse movie was even like announced, even like was even happening. I've always wanted a spider boss, a spider hand figure because I thought he was so cool. It was like a spider. He he was like a, he was like a uh, a spider who got bit by a radioactive pig who turned. Then he turned into spider hand. That's, I I just think that's so cool. You know, it, like this character is the epitome of like just crazy comics. You know because because comics, and I just love it. But the reason is, at number ten is because. There's literally almost no articulation, which really sucks. Like, the Rocket Raccoon figure on the MCU on the MCU side has, like, knee joints, arm joints, tail joints. He can move heads. Like, why didn't they do this for Spider-Ham? Like, I wouldn't mind if he was, like, a, maybe two inches taller. You know, maybe the almost the same height as, like, a Deadpool. Like, maybe, like, three inches shorter. Like, I wouldn't mind that as long as we got, like, knee articulation and like abdomen articulation and that just like it really sucks you know the only like good thing you can do with this figure is maybe pop off pop off the head and make a whole custom body for yourself that's the only like cool thing you can do with this figure since it's it's basically like a statue or a paperweight and number nine is mysterio from the marvel legends lizard bath i think yeah you know, I really do like this figure, like, a lot. I love the head, I love the cape, the hands are great, the the garments are, are like, great. It really looks like a 60s, whatever, like, a cereal. But the only thing I, like, I, it's just, like, I couldn't put it bigger on my list because it's, like, uh, I don't know if it's just on my figure, but, like, these hands do not move. I put it under, like, hot water, it doesn't move, like, at all. But, like, other than that, it's a good figure, but... You know, like, yeah, this figure is pretty cool. Time for seven. This is a seven. It's a Walmart, uh, Walmart exclusive Walgreens. So still not sure. I kind of forgot, but the powered up Black Panther from the uh, comics. I really, really love this figure. I love the yellow eyes on the head. I love the whatever body they use. Not sure which one, but I do wish they used the, uh, like, the one with butterfly joints, because those are, like, one of the best joints in the game right now. Like, this figure moves so fluidly. You can put it in so many poses, and it'll still look, like, good, you know? Like, I love all this art, all this drawing. I love this on hand, even on feet, too. I love it so much. Look at that. Even on the back, there's some detail. Like, this figure is just so... So amazing, you know. I just love it. And like, what, what makes it even better is that they released the vintage wave one, which is just a, which is like just an all black, so you can have like just a normal one, and then a powered up version. Or when like, I don't know, like a villain hits him, or like ACBA or something. But yeah, this figure is great, and he is number eight on my list. And number seven is un is uh, Deadpool and Chill. I really do love this. Like, I, like I, I think this figure is great. Besides the arms, the, like, I don't know why. The arms are just, like, so, like, hard to move in, on this figure. I don't really like the color, how it, the red is, like, so, so bright. Because I wish it would match with my other Deadpool, the, from one, the one that came in the Juggernaut wave. Like, I really love all this texture in the leg. You know, I, I do love this, like, sock with the, like, pink fuzzy slippers. I wish it was on both socks, but, you know, I guess they wanted to, like, differentiate or something. This body, upper body, just feels so weird and unnatural, like, on this second one. Maybe if they, like, did put something here, I'm, I'm not sure. I removed my you know, little belt one that came with the figure recently. I think this would look a lot better, even though you can see all the gaps, which is kind of annoying. You can see, I do love this face sculpt. I do love it a lot. I love it. 
I love all the molding, the teeth. How it looks so ugly. It's so amazing. Look at it. I love the eyes. I love the, how the mask like droops in the back. It's it is really great. Just wish there was something on the neck because it kind of feels like naked without the neck. And like same here on the body, just feels super weird without it. Maybe if they had like some plastic robe that came with this one would be pretty cool. And I'm really glad that we did get this potion because I really wanted that a Figma one. I think I think it was Figma. It might have been another company that released uh, like a Deadpool figure with like extra legs for like underwear ones. And yeah, I'm really glad Hasbro got this out for us. And number six is the thing. This figure is such a behemoth. Like, it's literally a build figure. They could have easily made this a, bi a build figure. One, two, three, four. And then this part could have came with, like, uh, Doctor Doom or something. But they, sat at, they just decided to, like, release it as one figure. And the articulation is great. It, they, it comes with accessories. comes with... Oh, <laughs> It comes with extra hands to open, to close, to head scans. Like, Hasbro did not need to do this, like, at all. This this is the best thing figure ever, like, created, ever, like, made, put out in retail. Like, I really don't think, besides maybe SA's figure arts or, like, Mayfax or something might be in it. But, like, uh, like this is the best thing figure there ever is. Look at all these molding, these scratches. It looks like he's been in battles the back too. Even on the the joints, it's got some molding, you know. Maybe like on the back it does it. Yeah, it does it on the back. But like other than that, this figure is like awesome. A builder figure, but just for twenty bucks. And like this figure is just boom. Just wish there was like a little four here, like on the other ones to match. And the blues do match and like all the Fantastic Four figures, which is awesome, top notch. Yeah, this figure is pretty damn good. Time for number five from the Spider slash slash wave or whatever is the black and red Deadpool, which I really do like a lot. Oh no, sorry, yeah. Like, I love this figure. I love how it's kind of, kind of the of the reverse of. Cause the other was is just originally in all red, but this is kind of like a stealth, stealth suit, you know. It's just like all black with like red accents, which I really, really like. I love the red eyes. I don't know if you can see them. I love the little horns. I love the wrist tape. I love the black wash that's on them. It's like he's been in some fights with the suit. It's not like just a random suit. And the boots, boots are great. This sucks though. I was like a wolf knee, even hot water would fix it. But yeah, I love the boots, I love the black wash, I love this little wrap thing on it. I love this, the laces, how it's kind of like messy, literally painted. I love this figure, like a lot. But that wolf knee puts this figure at number five. And like what helped, what made it this far is also that I got this. Like, the day after I watched season uh, 3, I think, yeah, season 3 of Daredevil, I went out to the to GameStop, and I actually found this, this city there, and I just bought it, because it looks so great, I love it, such a great figure, it's so much, and it also comes with extra hands, which is just plus. Number 4 is Apocalypse Wave Wolverine, from the Attack of Strike Wolverine. And I really do love this figure. I love, I love the type of yellow they use. I love the black lines coming in from the sides. I love this. I love all the blue. The blue on these boots look amazing. Like seriously, the blue, the dark blue clashing with the bright yellow. It's so awesome. And the claws they move, so you can like kind of like space them out. You know. Oh no, I think I just broke it. <laughs> but you can kind of like space them out like that, which is great. What sucks is. On mine, the holes that one took a little too big, so I kind of so I lost both of those blades. So I think I might just buy another one, which isn't a problem actually, you know. And I might buy the the Logan one with the bike. Maybe switch the arms, have some hair on here. Cause Wolverine, he's a he's a pretty hairy man. You know, I do wish it, the the head was like kind of like this, you know. Like, I don't know if you can, I don't know if 
that was like a good shot, but like, I wish this, yeah, this looks, this looks great, you know, but like, there was a trick, I tried it, but it kind of like, resets, I love these butterfly joints, these bow, butterfly joints make the figure always, always makes it great, you know, I, d I do wish the claws didn't come out low, you know, if the claws just stayed in, for like, molded inside the hand, and you couldn't move it, just like on the Logan figure with the bike. I'm pretty sure we can't remove the, the claws on that one. If, if it was like down every figure, that would have been great. But yeah, I love everything. I love this figure a lot. The best Wolverine of Legends ever made, ever created, ever gonna be made by Mark, by uh, has to be honest. And yeah. Number three is Ghost Rider. I love how the suits are kind of black, but kind of like a bright blue. And you got this like super bright blue on the outlines of the figure. You got this awesome, awesome head sculpt with the orange going to the red. You know, I, the only thing I don't like is the mouth. You know, it kind of looks like he's got an overbite. If you close it, see that I really don't like that. I might buy an, another gold slider and try and like use the house go from that, but I'm not sure. I love these tall like motorcycle boots, even though these are probably like reused from some other figure. I I don't know why I just love them. You know, I re really hope this is how the Mesco one looks, but probably won't. But I love this figure and the health cycle is great. I it, like it can it actually moves. The wheels are great. The mo like the paint on it is great. The fire effects are amazing. I'm definitely gonna use that for like some a ACBA stuff. And I love the chain that comes with the figure. I love the eyes. How it's just like dark circles. It's like kind of like I don't know if you can see them, but like there's like painted red line. Yeah, red dots in there. This is a really awesome figure. I love it. Time for the honorable mention goes to Taskmaster. Didn't, didn't really quite make the top 10, but it, it is in, uh, an honorable ben mention. I, like, the only thing I would change is that skull. I wish it was kind of a bit more white, you know, because it seems like a bit too dark for a skull. I know it's probably like a mask in the comics or whatever, but yeah, I love the cape though, you know, I wish it was kind of like, you can move it more, but it's not, not really possible, it's like super hard plastic, and like, oof, I love how you can, I wish like the, the head and the cape was all one piece, so it can look better, like maybe, so it, like, cause I always have to do that all the time, so it can look like it's matching, you know, you can see like, the spaces, which sucks. I love the big gloves. I love the big boots. I love the these, like, the holsters and, like, whatever this is supposed to be. I don't know. But, yeah. I really like the sword that comes with this figure. The shield is great. This golden gun is kind of, like, just, eh. Excuse me. I would have preferred if, preferred if it didn't come with this, like, golden gun thing. And you know, it's not like a normal gun. It's just, like... Look at that. It's kind of just, it's weird, you know. I wish Hasbro would have, like, better guns, you know, but they have literal enough guns. It's, like, confirmed that they just, like, use enough, enough like, modern, but, like, scale it down, you know. Now, number two is Spider-Man from the PS4 game. I don't know if this really counts, because spider this one, this suit is from the video game. But then again, this suit was in the comics. Um, I think it's like Spider Geddon, I think it's called. But then again, it was also in Spider Verse. So I don't, I don't know what to put this on. I'm just gonna put in um, comic figures. I love the suit a lot. I love the white, the the white like touches on the figure. I love this. How I love how it's like each thing from all the live action Spider Mans. Like this is from Andrew Garfield. This is from the like Sam Raimi and the eyes. Like in the game, the they move. That's from like the Tom Holland like arrow or whatever. And, like, I love the blues, I love the reds, I love all the, like, breakage in the suit. I love how, like, right here, there's no, like, this is, this part is all red. 
the body for this is great. It's like this is adult Peter Parker, you know. Like this isn't like a teenage Peter anymore. This like fully adult, fully like he's ready to do adult things, I guess. And uh, I do wish they painted the the spider a bit more because this does mean a lot to me. Because that's like the first thing I ever saw Spider Man was from like uh, Spider Man Two. I think it was the first movie I watched. Might have been the first one. I'm not I'm not really sure on that. But yeah, this figure means a lot to me. And like, and also the game. I love the game. And this came out right when the game was like all was getting all these buzzes and, and stuff. And like, I beat all the DLC. I beat like, and I 100% of the game. I 100% of all three DLC packs. You know, I, like. I'm an overachiever of this game because I love it so much. You know, it deserves all that love because they put all that love into this Spider-Man game. You know, it's just, it's so great. It's really, really great, you know. And it came with, like, two thrip hands and two web lines, which is also great. You know, I don't know. They put a lot of effort into this figure. I really do hope in the future Hasbro makes more Game of Us figures like Doctor. Like Doc Ock from the game, or maybe, or maybe Mr. Negative, or like other people, you know, that would be pretty, pretty cool. Now, time for number one, the number one best figure of 2018 for Marvel Legends 2018, in my opinion. I know it's, it's, it's going to be shocking to like some people, but this is, this is my list. This is what my opinion, don't have to agree with it, but yeah, and that is... The Fantastic Four, Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards. Mostly, because this figure means a lot to me. Because he, Mr. Fantastic is one of my favorite superheroes ever since I saw the Fantastic, the Fantastic Four movie that came out in 2005, I think. It came out way when I was five years old, and I just loved his, like, like read his powers, how he can, like, stretch any part of his, like, body, his legs, his arms, his torso, his head, even. You know, I just thought that was a super cool power. And you, even on this figure, the arms pop off. So you can put in the super long ones. And it can be like how he's stretching. Which is just another awesome thing on this part. And this this face is pretty good. It does look a lot like George Clooney though. Like, actually. It's a lot like George Clooney. I do love this, these like, great sideburns. The hair part is great. I love... I love the uh, hair sculpt. I love the color on the figure. And like it matches with the other ones. And like I just. I really love it. I do wish. Uh, it came with more accessories. Maybe. Hopefully. In the future we can get another. Reed Richards where he's like all stretched out. Like for that um. Toy Biz one I think. With the white gloves. I think it's the Ronin wave. I'm not completely sure. But that's the. The figures, like, all stretch out. It's, like, super big, too. Like, it's, it's, it really is cool. I really love this character. And the Incredibles 2 really made me love this this even more. Because they made, like, stretchy power look so amazing. You know, and this figure is great. The top number one. That's it. That's my list of the top Marvel Legends of 2018, in my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. If you have a different one, it's completely fine. You, you might put this thing in number one. You might not. It's all it's all okay in my book. And uh, this this year for Marvel Legends was crazy. It was like wave after wave after wave. You know, it was it, like if you aren't, to, this year was the best year ever to be like a Marvel fan or a, a figure collector. Because like they put so many at, at, at face at once, which is annoying at times. Because it could be like, oh, I can't get this figure, and I have to wait, you know, some kept popping up too early, some kept popping up too late, you know, and this is the year I really started collecting Marvel Legends, because previously, I only collected MCU ones, and then I collected some comic ones, because, like, I wanted to build a bit, the, oh, excuse me, I wanted to make the builder figure, and now I'm just buying the comic ones that look cool, maybe, or in some that, like, I really want, I kind of do want, like, a full collection, of like comic figures, like of every single person in the Marvel Universe, I want that in like toy form, I don't know, but like Marvel Legends are like, they are really are great, besides some problems they have here and there, but yeah, their figures, totally great, can't wait for 2019 and what's gonna transpire, hopefully they just keep on chugging.